to find what we were looking for. So I did a short little walk and followed some tracks and well, there we go. There's a shadow lying in amongst the thickest bush possible. How we got in here, I'm not quite sure. I also don't know how we're going to get out of here. It really is a horrible thicket that we are in. And it's no wonder we drove past her earlier. We weren't too far from where she was. But luckily with a bit of sort of walking and following of tracks. And this is why it's so important to be able to track animals. is Because there's not a chance we would have found this leopard any other way than by being on foot and just walking where the tracks were and where they last had her and then following those tracks to this position but you can see she's a sleepy cat she wasn't very impressed with me when i walked into her i had a bit of a growl and a little tail flick at me and then she decided when we got her that everything was okay and and then flopped back down again the nice thing is, is it looks as though she's not too skinny it looks as though she's got a little bit of a tummy on her so maybe a small meal it's not exactly full 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 but it's not empty either so she must have had a small meal recently and other than that i haven't seen her move yet so i don't know how bad her limp is but she's just resting nicely you can see breathing quite heavily because of its heat but at least it's a rosetted cat which is absolutely wonderful so i believe a lot of you are excited to see shadow and so am i we haven't seen too much of her and she is deep 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 inside juma and it now means that tracking cats around twin dams area is completely gone out the window as to who we think is around because between her and tandy and is that not is it shadow it is must be shadow yes it is shadow um and between her tandy and shongile there's a lot of females moving around in this section and that's going to make it very difficult f to think who this actually is just via tracks are you going to start moving for us? That yawn might be an indication that she's thinking about moving. I'm hoping that she's going to start making her way towards some water. It would be nice if she did. It's been a warm day and so I wouldn't be surprised if she did do that. Hello girl. You can see that stare is a glare of epic proportions. She almost looks as though she could death stare you. My girl, you must be careful though. You are moving this straight into your sister's area and the two sisters i'm sure if they see one another will come to blows so they need to be a little careful it's an area that is dense with leopards and this is what happens when it's the dry season and also when you have a female that has been dominant for so long disappear the animals in the dry season start congregating around water and because cruel is no longer here she would have kept everybody at bay and kept everybody in their relative and their, their respective territories but now that she's disappeared you can see there's this influx of these two females exactly what we thought would happen is that shadow would push from the west tandy from the east and this looks like it's going to be the divide line twin dams is going to be the battle as to who actually gets it because it's an ideal spot the milawati is here it's a great place for denning it's a great place with water and and food availability and so i wouldn't be surprised that this is an area that they contest for quite heavily and between vocalizing scent marking and maybe even physical contact it's going to be decided as to who takes it i would hypothetically think that tundi will probably end up with it more than what shadow would but you can't rule them out i remember seeing shadow when i first got here on chitwa airstrip moving around in that area and mating with one of the males so she can travel this female and she does sometimes go into her sister's territory but it's i would imagine will be more for Tandy to take this area. But isn't she beautiful? She's got also got that same kind of face as Tandy. They are very similar looking. It's actually quite difficult to tell the two apart. I often battle with the two of them and it used to be easy when they had territories, but it they are very similar. Okay, well now she's up, let's see. Oh is your paw sore? Okay. I know it's not my fault that your paw is sore. And see she's not putting weight on it at all she looks worse than what we when we saw her the other day it doesn't look okay girl okay things one just sit there okay you can see she's grumpy her foot is sore her cub is not here at the moment for those of you that are wondering i don't see the cub i mean the cub might be here but i don't see any tracks for the cub but that foot of hers is sore and she's not happy about it she's not happy about maybe the fact that i walked into her when she's in a compromised situation As you can see the foot is on the ground there's no visible sign of injury anywhere there but she's definitely a little on the grumpy side so we're just going to give her her space and let her move around and try not to make too much eye contact with her because 
it's funny with leopards unlike lions when you make eye contact they almost take it as a challenge and they get a little bit more grumpy about it and so it's best to just avoid eye contact speak softly and not move too much and let her just calm down and get used to our presence again but you can see oh there we go she's actually putting weight on it that's okay but it, it will be very stiff from her lying down all day so it's a bit of a limp but it's getting there i mean it's it's the fact that there's weight on it is really a good thing okay girl all right we're not here to do anything to you. You can go past us. There we go. If you were wondering if she can get up into a tree. There we go. She's just scratching her claws. How beautiful is that? A leopard on a log is one of my absolute favorite things. Riti, you're asking if I know if Shadow has mated recently. Look at her sharpening her claws. You see how she digs her claws in? Um, Riti, no, as far as I know, she hasn't. I haven't heard of any reports of her mating. Also, no physical signs of mating. The back of her neck is clean. You see no bite marks on the back of her neck that would potentially indicate that she might have mated. Okay, my girl. It's okay. Keep going. So... Like I said, you just got to be a little bit patient with her and, and not move around nearly as much as what we would with any other leopard. She's not in the best mood at the moment, and who can blame her? With a little bit of a sore foot the way that she has, it's not ideal that she's kind of got this car around and she's going to get used to it. Once she's used to us, then I can start following her. But I'm going to give her my distance and try and keep a little bit off the back of her so she doesn't feel pressured in any way. At the end of the day, our, our job out here is, is to observe and to look at these animals, but not to cause any issues with them. So I want to try and just give her as much space and, and keep her as comfortable as possible. But it definitely, to me, that, that walking, while it looks quite bad at the moment, it really is a lot better than the first time we saw her. When Seb and I saw her the first time, she couldn't even do what she doing now that paw was up in the air she was really battling and this looks so much better and so much more encouraging she's putting weight on it and she's stiff she's also don't forget she's been sleeping the whole day so it's sore so at the end of the day once this starts to move then it's going to be okay all right she's gotten quite far because the reason why i was also waiting is where i am now i'm going to make a lot of noise to get out of here there's going to be a lot of breaking of branches and a lot of as you can hear by <laughs> my movements that it's going to be a lot of difficult maneuvering and I wanted to give her as much space as was possible so that I could get out of here now it's a bit of a steep drainage section all right Seb hopefully we're gonna get out I'm sure Wendy will have enough power it's actually in situations like this where Rusty would be the better car Rusty seems to have that just that little bit more grunt to get out of tight situations so <laughs> right come on come on Wendy turn yeah there we go so Wendy's now turning now I've got to try and find my way through here as best I can and get to where she is and so why do that let's go back to Jamie and the Mara and just trying around enjoying the beautiful sunshine <laughs> 